What's up, everybody? Ryan Thomas here, the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. I'm coming to you live from Spreaker.com, Facebook, YouTube, um, and, and obviously this episode is the first audio episode that I've done in quite some time. I've been so busy uh, building the Thomas Take Sports Podcast Facebook page. I've added over 200 likes to the page uh, within the last few months uh, of just creating content for the page, whether it be the Thomas Take Film Sessions or the Bills Post Game Shows. Both have been very successful, um, and and obviously in the MMA side of things, um, I've really added a lot of content to the page uh, in that area. So... In that, in that regard, so if you were to go to facebook.com slash Thomas Takeover, you would see a litany of content to choose from with yours truly, um, you know, on, on the video talking sports topics, whether it be the Bills or Mixed Martial Arts or, you know, Bellator or, or you know, you can check me out on, on rocksportsreport.com um, talking about, you know, the Bills and, and Mixed Martial Arts uh, primarily. And then obviously uh, my fantasy sports talk in terms of the Mixed Martial Arts world as well so um things are really booming the thomas take is booming right now and once again for the fourth year in a row i will be back in the fantasy football finals four years in a row um i've won two out of the last three uh and obviously i'm trying to repeat trying to do something that nobody's ever done in my fantasy league in case you missed it in case you don't know i will also be recording each and every week next season, uh, recaps of the Thomas Take Sports Podcast Fantasy Football League. A uh, bit of a tongue twister, but I'm going to call it the Thomas Take Fantasy Football uh, you know, spectacle or something like that. Something fun. Uh, I'll, I'll come up with a decent title for it at some point, but that has not really uh, crossed my mind yet. But I'm still trying to find uh, 10 to 12 people, 10 to 12 avid listeners, viewers of the show that I can count on to tune in and, uh, you know, definitely check their lineup, add, drop, make trades. Um, and I'm very excited. I can't wait to have a team together that I can refer to as the Thomas Take. Uh, finally, outside of the MFST League, I thought, you know, I'll start my own sort of fan league. And I've built up a, a viewership, a, a, a listener base that uh, I think is pretty uh, important to interact with, a, a listener base that is definitely one that I like to cater to, uh, giving them topics and, and, and uh, opinions of, of topics that they really enjoy. So here is another topic to enjoy. As I mentioned, I am entering my fourth straight appearance um, in my fantasy football league, the fourth straight title game in my fantasy football league, the Lockport Fantasy Football League. The reason why it's called Lockport, Lockport is my hometown. It is a small town just outside of Buffalo, uh, born and raised there. And obviously it's got some of my good friends in the league as well. Uh, friends that um, I really enjoy having in the league. Along the way, there's been moments where some people have kind of been a pain in the butt um, that I've had to give the steel toe boot to and, and kick them out and knock them out to replace with other players. But, um, you know, that, that happens, you know, that's, that's a part of it. Um, but right now I got a good group of guys, you know, with the exception of a couple, uh, not checking their lineup here and there, uh, which is like my number one pet peeve of fantasy football. If you're going to participate, if you're going to draft your team at, at a, at a decent rate, why would you uh, not check your lineup. It, it just, it's just so, it, it's literally wasting their own time, wasting my time and wasting the time of the people that are willing to check their stuff. Um, and in some cases people don't check their, their lineups and they're still able to win, which is just as bad. I want true results, uh, each and every year. And, uh, for the most part, you know, outside of two teams in my 10 team league, um, not checking their stuff on a regular basis. Um, they do check it, you know, once, you know, every two weeks or once every three weeks, but it's very inconsistent in a 13 week season. So, um, I might be looking to replace some people in my actual, you know, Lockport fantasy football league, um, might be looking to replace some people, you know, that, that might be a possibility too, uh, primarily. Um, and the two people that, that are, you know, questioning, Oh, who, who is it? Is it me? Is it, I, I can say it right here, right now. Dave 
and Bob, uh, you're just not checking your stuff. You, you're not checking your stuff. I, I know everybody's got a life and everybody's busy, but now that these, this app is available on your smartphone, I mean, I almost do most of my fantasy football searching, you know, when I'm, when I'm in the, the lavatory, you know, when I'm in the restroom so to speak. So, you know, a little bit TMI there, but at the same time, you know, come on, come on guys, this is ridiculous. So here we are, we have made it finally to the last week of the fantasy football season. And finally, I have made it once again to the finals. Did I mention that four years in a row? Did I say that already? Well, I'm going to say it again, four years in a row. Come on, people, step it up. Let's do this. Um, made it this far. And last year I won the league as the fourth seed. This year I'm coming in as the number one seed, 11-2. and two. All that stuff is fun, but it really does not matter unless I come away with the chip. But I got a tough team in front of me. I got a tough team in front of me. A team that I have, might I mention, I have just as much to do with this team's success as anybody, being that it's my dad's team. I wanted to help my dad this year. Wanted to give him you know, an opportunity to, to compete for the chip. Little did I know that the team that I helped him build would, uh, you know, the team that I helped build, you know, over the, build over the, 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 you know, last few weeks, um, little did I know that that would be the team that I'd be staring across from me in the finals. So it's me versus you, Dad. Mono we mono at last. We're finally at this point. We thought that this day would come, being that we faced each other already in the Fantasy Baseball League, and... You know, I got the better of you at that point uh, in the in the fantasy baseball league. You got the better of me this year in the uh, semifinal round of the fantasy baseball league that we're in. So really, this is this is really round three in a way, round one in terms of fantasy football, but round three in terms of us playing each other once again. Um, and and really, I'll, I'll go through who I have on my team first. For those of you that don't know, um, Tom Brady. Um, Antonio Brown is out. That's going to hurt me, but I have a plan. I always have a plan, and I'll leave it at that. Mike Evans, uh, Chris Hogan, Mohamed Sanu, Melvin Gordon, Ezekiel Elliott, Christian McCaffrey, Rob Gronkowski, um, and I have the Pittsburgh Steelers defense as well as the New Orleans defense and Dan Bailey as my kicker, one of the best kickers in the league. Uh, for the majority of the season, I had Steven Hauschka. So, you know, obviously I'm going to look to try to, to, to make some moves there in terms of my wide receivers. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'll definitely let you guys know who I add there. And then in terms of who my dad has, um, you know, he traded for Aaron Rodgers, but in large part of this season, his starter was Alex Smith. Alex Smith, Des Bryant, Jarvis Landry, Alshon Jeffrey, LaShawn McCoy, Jordan Howard, Travis Kelsey, and Mark Ingram. Now, the key to his success, and I know who is on his team that's going to be very, very tough to go up against, and that is LaShawn McCoy and Mark Ingram. Of any of the running backs drafted in the first three rounds for fantasy football, Mark Ingram and LaShawn McCoy have been two of the best, and he landed both of them at a pretty decent price. McCoy was one of his keepers. Ingram, um, I don't believe, I, I'm pretty sure he did draft Ingram. And then obviously Travis Kelsey was another one that he kept. Travis Kelsey had you know, a subpar day, six, six receptions this past week for 46 yards, uh, coming in at a 10.6 point clip uh, for week 15. Um, but, you know, he's obviously, he, he's obviously going to do better than that next week. So it's a tough matchup. But what needs to be said in terms of this matchup before it ever happens, I want to set the record straight. This is a win-win for me. This is the most win-win situation that I could have found myself in uh, at this point in the season. A win-win th through and through. If I win, it's awesome. I win. It's my fourth championship in my league's history, uh, which dates back to 2011. You know, four titles in seven years. If I lose, my dad is getting his first title, a title that I contributed to by helping him acquire, you know, guys like Alshon Jeffrey, guys like Aaron Rodgers, um, you know, and kind of telling him in this year's draft to keep LaShawn McCoy, keep Travis Kelsey. And that 
helped him exponentially. So this team is just as much mine as it is his. So if my dad wins, and he did draft Mark Ingram, he did draft Dez, he did draft uh, Jarvis Landry, he's had a decent team. He has a decent team. It was half and half. Uh, this, this this trophy that I got that's sitting on my, my mantle right now, I'm more than willing to hand it off to my dad. I would have, I, I enjoy, I would, I will enjoy handing it off to him. But you bet your, you know what, that I'm going to try to win. I didn't come this far, to this close to repeating once again to lose my chance at repeating once again. I was, I was very close in 2015. Eric, his team was better than me that day. Uh, so we'll see if my dad's team is better than mine on this day. You know, next week. Week 16, the Fantasy Super Bowl. Um, you know, I, I am probably going to be projected to lose by maybe four or five. Should be a fairly close projection. Um, so, you know, projections are, are whatever. I got Ezekiel Elliott coming back. Week 16, he's going up against the Seattle Seahawks. Um, and I really feel like that's a, a great matchup. At first, I was a little bit hesitant, but. After watching what Todd Gurley just did to the Seahawks, I am very excited to see what Ezekiel Elliott brings to the table in his return. He's been staying in shape, um, and he's be, he's going to start practicing uh, this week. So, you know, having him back is huge. Uh, Kenyon Drake was big for me. Melvin Gordon has been big for me, uh, and obviously Rob Gronkowski, Tom Brady, uh, the best duo in, in fantasy football when they're on. You know, it's it's definitely a treat to have those two guys on your team so i expect this to be an epic fantasy super bowl i expect this to be a, an awesome matchup between the two best teams in my fantasy league this year and with all due respect to cody and eric uh you know their teams were not two of the best i i really believe they belong as the third and fourth best teams in the league um, and we'll find out who will take the third place mantle, you know, between Eric and Cody. But the two best teams are going to go at it, and, and we're going to find out on this week, week 16, who's better. And obviously, my team takes a hit without Antonio Brown, but I still got Mike Evans. I still have Chris Hogan, who is, you know, banged up a little bit, but I think he's going to come back this week. If he doesn't, I'll make it work. That's what I'm. That's what I do best. I find the right trades, find the right players to fill the holes, um, and, and usually they perform. So um, I'm very excited for this matchup. I think that this is going to be a fun one. It's a win-win for me. Uh, I give my dad a, a Christmas gift if he beats me, or if I win, the, the trophy just stays put. Literally, it will stay in the exact same spot that it's been in since January. So, Or actually, yeah, since, since, uh, since December. So for the last year, it's been in the same spot. It might stay there for another year. We will see. But good luck to you, Dad. Uh, you've made it this far. Congratulations. Um, you know you, you got a solid team. I'm excited to see how this pans out. What are the chances that you play your dad in the fantasy football finals? It's pretty cool. Pretty fun stuff. So take care, everybody. I'm Ryan Thomas. That was the Thomas Take. Send me your fantasy football championship questions, and I will love to respond back to those on Twitter. Tweet me at Thomas Takeover, and obviously like the Facebook page. People, there is so much content on the Facebook page for you to tune into, uh, whether it's the Bills postgame shows, MMA recaps, MMA predictions uh, between the, the UFC's biggest events. Obviously, I'll be posting my uh, main event prediction on Cyborg versus Home um, and, and talk about Habib versus uh, Edson Barboza. Two big fights, two really big fights uh, to bookend the UFC calendar year December 30th at UFC 219. Very exciting stuff. So I'm Ryan Thomas. That was the Thomas Take Dad. It's going to be tough. One of us is going to come out on top. We will find out which team is better, mine or yours. Here we go. <laughs> Take care, everybody.